Hey y'all, it's me, Carly Monroe here, and I'm back with a super simple look. I ended up using the new line from Cream of Nature using coconut milk in all of their products. Um, one, I just want to rave about the shampoo. I'm not really a shampoo girl because it's really drying, but this shampoo, when I say I could detangle while shampooing, it was bomb. So if you're looking for a new shampoo to try, definitely try that shampoo. Um, I love the conditioner as well. And and the leave-in conditioner which is not my normal type of conditioner so it was kind of cool using something new that was kind of like a spray instead of like a cream base application of a product um it was totally different for me to use this this time and i'm actually pleased with my results i've used this mousse before um from their line so there's obviously nothing bad to say about that um I love it. I've used it for twist outs and braid outs and actually a roller set before. So if you want to know how I got this cool simple look for the summertime, just keep watching. And also, we've reached 1,000 subscribers on my channel. Yeah! I don't really know what to do. So you guys leave your suggestions for some giveaway ideas below. And the next video, I'll go ahead and let you know what it is and what my prize is going to be because I definitely want to show support to the people who support me. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel also if you're new here you need to subscribe below what you doing i'll wait cool and before we get started always 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 remember to spread love inspire others and strive for greatness thanks for watching bye okay so here i am fresh out the shower you want to make sure that your hair has been freshly cleansed and deep conditioned to lock in that moisture so Jumping right into it, I'm gonna use my eyebrow as a guide for my side part. I love a side part. It's just my favorite thing when I'm doing my hair in these two braids. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this section up and out of the way and I'm going to take the leave-in conditioner. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I never really use um, kind of a water-based conditioner. I usually use a creamy type and I was definitely surprised um, at how this worked for me it wasn't as thick and creamy as I thought it would be but it worked fine and then I'm just gonna go ahead and detangle a little bit more with my wide tooth comb next I'm gonna take the style and shine mousse from the argon oil cream of nature line and I'm gonna put a nice juicy amount all over that section that I've parted I also don't do it on camera, but I comb through this section as well, make sure it's nice and detangled. Next, I'm going to take my hair from Noir, which I will link below in the description box for you guys to see. This hair was amazing to me. It just matched my hair texture so much and made this twist undetectable that it had weave in it. So now I'm just gonna take a small, section which is probably about three strands of the noir hair and set that aside so now I'm gonna take this one section in the beginning of my head and split that one section into two I'll do that and I'll just keep going down and do a flat twist I do have a flat twist tutorial on my channel I will link that below in the description box it is a little bit um, it is an older video I'm thinking about doing an updated version of my flat twist for you guys let me know in the description box if you would like to see that so now once I get down to my ear, I'm going to take the Marley hair into two and put it seamlessly into the twist and just keep twisting. Now if your hair is really dry at this part, you can spritz the ends with some water just so it doesn't get frizzy and pop out of your twist. And I'm just going to twist that all the way down so I see fit. I didn't want to go all the way down because I felt like they would have been too long but I went ahead and twisted them as much as I could and then I put a rubber band on it until I decided to cut them. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. I've already detangled with the leave-in conditioner and added my style and shine mousse. I'm splitting my hair into two sections and I'm just gonna flat twist down like normal. Again, once I get by my ear, I'm going to take the hair from Noir, put it in to my twist, and twist down like normal. Once 
Once I've gotten my twist to the length that I like, I'm gonna go ahead and lay these edges right quick. I'm gonna take my Egon, my Egon, <laughs> I'm gonna take my Eco Styler Gel Argan Oil, the yellow one, which is one of my holy grails, and just slay my edges real quick. You know, the look is would not be complete without some edges laid. And I noticed that this day, my highlight was definitely popping. Thank you, Carly Bible Palette, for coming through with the amazing highlight. Also, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that Eco Styler Gel, um, not too much, and just to make sure that my hair is nice in the back, I'm going to rub that in my hands and pat down some of the frizzy flyaways. And that's really it for this look. I ended up cutting my hair to the length that I wanted it to be and adding some of the gold detailed jewels in it. You guys have seen them all over. Um, so this is my finished look. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Um, my main focus, I kind of wanted my top lip to just be bigger, but now this bottom lip is coming through and giving Was me Was it painful? No, it's beauty pain. You know, we do these things all the time, waxing, threading, all that good stuff. So this was nothing compared to that.